Hi guys, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. Hope everybody is feeling very, very well. So today it's all about August Cohorted. It's the Laura Geller Edit Box. I do have a couple of Laura Geller products. Um, I got most of them on my face today. Um, let's do the unboxing and I'll go through what I'm actually wearing. So for those of you that don't know, Laura Geller is 100% cruelty free, but she's not 100% on some of her products, the vegan free. That's what the box inside looks like. Cohorted is a monthly subscription box. It will cost you $39.99 a month. I do love Cohorted. Um, they always tend to be a little bit more higher branded. I call it a luxury box. I really do enjoy Cohorted. And even if I didn't do YouTube, I would probably continue even still to get cohorted. The value of this month's box is a £112, not the highest by any means, but still good value for your money. So the first item in our box is, this glossy book is so informative as well. It's great. So that is Laura Geller herself. Okay, okay. This is a product I haven't tried. This is the Laura Geller Sparkle Restore Mist. Oh, it's a recommended of £25. It says shake well before use. Use whole bottle eight to ten inches away from the face and mist lightly. Apply before makeup to prime skin, after to set your look, or any time throughout the day for instant refresh. So that is it yeah so it has coconut water in it it does say it's a prime set and a refresh and it doesn't say it's sparkle dust a mist at all it's a speckle okay so that's it there i haven't used it i'm not going to open it because i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it and i have a loads of these setting sprays and whatever already on the go my favourite all time. I always go back to the iconic London. Like that. So that's the first item there. Second we have. We have a Laura Geller. Baked original highlight. French vanilla. Recommended is £18. Sweep the highlighter onto your cheekbones. Brow bone inner eye corners. Keep its bow to brighten your complexion. And add definition to your definition to your features for a creamier sheen a dampen the applicator apply highlighter wet for a more intense glow apply multiple layers so i haven't tried this that's what it looks like and inside the box looks like that and um, what i do like about her products is you always get sort of a little bit of a mirror there so I'm going to bob some on and see what it looks like a good brush let's try that one so there's my little brush and let's go there oh that's nice actually it's really subtle But I do like that. It's really nice. Not really showing up well on camera, but in real life it does look very pretty, very subtle looking. I'll drag some down my nose. Yeah, I like that. No smell at all to it either. Yeah, I like that. Definitely use that again. Next we have... The Laura Geller Mighty Pen Liquid Liner. This has a recommended of £20. Now, I did try this and I have to say, I will be honest, I didn't like it, unfortunately. This is it here. So I did one eye that was practically perfect. Second eye, it kind of dried up. I shook the pen, tried it on my hand, come through, applied it to my eye, nothing. It was literally dragging on my eye. So I ended up having to finish it with my Fenty, like a ball in it. So I thought it would actually give good flow. But for me, I don't know. I just didn't find this really helpful when I was trying to apply it to my eye. And I'm having a problem now actually putting the lid on it. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong, but it, well, I don't know. One thing that I did like about it is you do get a little transfer to help you apply it. 
for those of us that are absolutely rubbish at doing wings this is handy little bit of kit i didn't use it so that's it there so obviously you'd apply it to your eye there and just follow that so i thought that was quite cute but as for the formula itself i i do feel like for 20 quid there are better ones out there that's just me being like that's my personal opinion right next we're we're on to the everyday excellence mascara this has a recommended of 18 a pound again i tried this and again i didn't feel like this was brilliant i tried laura geller mascara before it's this one this is the what's this at uh, dream lash didn't like this formula either it's very drying and for it to do anything this one Jesus Christ, I had to put about five or six layers on. I literally used the product a couple of times and I haven't bothered using it since. And I feel like this is exactly the same. It's very drying and it just didn't seem to matter how many layers I actually put on. And I suppose you're going to find it quite difficult to see. But this side has got this on. And on this side, I put the lower mercy on that. And just looking in the mirror, I can see a massive difference on performance on these mascaras. So for me, this didn't really do much. Great for every day, I suppose. Or if you're a young person that's in college still or school. I think these, I don't know. I just feel like these products are more aimed for a more of a subtle look. More maybe towards the older girls i suppose the more mature girls nothing wrong with that by the way right next what do we have what do we have next we have the smart pout transfer proof lipstick in the shade brilliant this is 16 pound so i did apply some of this onto my lips i did it probably about an hour ago and my lips are still so sticky the color is a beautiful the formula of a formula of applying the lipstick is absolutely great. I just don't like the fact that it's still really got that sticky consistency. The colour's adorable. It's quite a nudie colour. It looks a lot darker in the bullet than it does apply on the lips. I was hoping that this wasn't a drying down matte, that it was like a satin or something like that. I do feel like when you apply this, it does feel quite hydrating on the lips. It just takes a long time for it to clearly dry down and it does leave that stickiness behind. Then we have the angled blush, blush brush, which is interesting because we didn't get a blush to try the brush out on. I do have a blush. I'll show you that in a little bit more detail in a minute. But the brush is beautiful. It is well made. It's good quality. It's quite sturdy. Very nice. Very soft bristles. Very nice brush indeed. And then I think that was about it, wasn't it? And yeah, that was it actually. And we got a free perfume as well. Let's have a smell at this. Cohorta did actually put a perfume out oh, a few months ago. Um, I really, really loved the smell of it. I checked out how to order it and turns out it was 120 quid. But if you go onto this side, this is BDK. They do these samples like this, exactly the same. And I got exactly the same perfume for £5. I know obviously you're not getting a lot, but certainly beats paying out 120 quid oh that's nice oh that is very very nice subtle again not too in your face it's not one of those um sprays that's intense and will give me a headache that is very nice what is that this is oh my god it just oh velvet tonka velvet tonka that is nice it smells even like really expensive i'll need to look up how much this is i bet it's going to be expensive so that's the unboxing of cohorted
Make sure you leave your comments down below what you thought of this box. Just a couple of the products that I've used today. This is the Laura Geller blush. It's baked and the colour is pink grapefruit. It's like that. And again, very, very subtle. It's got a bit of a sheen, shine, sheen to it. I'm not even picking that up, are you? It's pretty. Again, you know, I just don't feel like this range is for an impact on a makeup. But I'm sure you could probably build it up. I also use the Complexion Favourites. This is a two-step gorgeous skin. So you actually get the primer and then you get the powder to go on top. The primer is tinted and it's supposed to give you an even coverage to make your skin so, uh, so it does actually give a nice dewy look when you're just putting the foundation on but then obviously when you put the powder on top it takes the, the kind of dewiness away from it and this is the powder that you powder on top this is called Baked Balance and Brighton, and this is in the medium shade. That's it there. That's it there. I don't know if you can see much, but I do feel like when I do try this on, I, I like the primer and Maybe if I want that dewy look, I would just go ahead and use the tinted primer and that's it. Um, I wouldn't say that this lasts anymore, but I do feel like maybe I'm applying too much. I do feel like this actually does settle into my fine lines and then I just need to spray down with my um, iconic spray. I also have a lipstick of hers. This is not a dry down matte one. The shade there that color is called uh, Capri so this is more like a satin finish very hydrating on the old lips and this was some mascara that you know I just couldn't get on with it I found the formula so so drying and did nothing to my lashes okay Right, that's it all for now. The winner will be announced for the Lock Hero. I ran a little giveaway on there, so look out on my community page. I will be announcing the winner on there very shortly. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the giveaway. And I'll speak to you in my next video. Take care for now. Bye for now. Take care. Bye.